Hi, I'm Mark Krofczyk, and I'm joining you here from the woods of Vermont to announce the release of my new book, Coppice Agroforestry, Tending Trees for Product, Profit, and Woodland Ecology, a detailed manual that's more than 10 years in the making. Coppicing is kind of like a cut and come again type of forestry. It's a way of managing trees and shrubs by cutting them down, usually while dormant, allowing them to regrow from anywhere from one to 30 or more years, and then harvesting the maturing sprouts for use as fuel wood, craft materials, construction, and much more. It's a practice that's deeply embedded in human history around the world, but it's virtually unknown here today in temperate North America, and this is why this book is so important. I've been fascinated with coppice agroforestry and other related forms of re-sprout silviculture since I first apprenticed with Ben Law nearly two decades ago in his West Sussex stand of sweet chestnut. In the years since, I've been working with landowners, homesteaders, and growers, helping them design and implement various types of agroforestry systems in different parts of the United States, Canada, and Europe and at the same time meeting with and learning from practitioners who've been using these techniques and practices for generations. Coppice Agroforestry is a must-have handbook for homesteaders, farmers, foresters, researchers, consultants, and horticultural enthusiasts. The product of an extensive literature review, site visits with practitioners across the U.S. and Europe, deep primary and secondary research, and featuring extensive citations and scientific references, Coppice Agroforestry delves into the subject in a way that no other book does. This practical handbook is unique for a number of reasons. With a focus on temperate North American climates, contexts, and species, it brings re-sprout silviculture practices to an audience otherwise unmet by the current literature. Bridging the gap between science and practice, it dives deep into the history of these techniques in Europe and North America along with a detailed look at the biology of woody plants and the why and how that leads to healthy sprouting. Richly illustrated and featuring extensive tables, coppice agroforestry includes an overview of the many ways these practices are part of larger woodland management systems. It also includes an in-depth look at dozens of different opportunities to add value to pole wood and rods and build small-scale livelihoods around coppicing. It includes several varied case studies exploring the different ways practitioners leverage these practices in their own farm and forestry businesses. And it details system design, establishment, and maintenance, subjects that are largely absent from existing works on the subject. Thanks so much for watching and learning about productive ways that we can engage with our working landscapes. If you'd like to learn more about the book and about the process that led to its creation, visit coppiceagroforestry.com where you can also purchase the book directly from me, the author. You can also purchase it online or better yet, visit a local bookstore and support them in the work that they do. May we all learn to build relationships of reciprocity with the trees and shrubs that enrich our lives in so many ways.